The Magicians Dance Macabre Retreveille Welcome to our show, said an unseen man's voice to an audience somewhere on a stage in a small theatre in Melbourne, Australia. The owner appeared on stage in a puff of smoke. Hello, I am Blake Fire, said the man, a stage magician in a black tux and top hat, looking very handsome. Another man wandered on stage. He was his partner in the act, and he is Max Starfire, my assistant, said Blake. Your assistant, my aunt, said Max. Going silent when the stage manager screamed at him in his head on a hidden earphone. The audience laughed. Max put a rabbit in it, said Blake, pulling a cute white rabbit out of his hat and giving it to Max, who fumed. You know I don't like animals, said the vampire. Matt, making it disappear into thin air, he was in a huff. The audience jeered, thinking it was part of the act. Blake made a dove appear. Flew off stage, pooping on Vax's head. Max wasn't happy. Blake looked nervous. The audience laughed again. Apparently, animals don't like you either, Blake said. The audience roared with laughter. Max looked annoyed. He made the poop disappear into thin air. Thanks a lot for that, deadhead, snarled Max. Blake, whose soul was a grim reaper, frowned. Blake sighed and sniffed in a breath of air. Then he sensed it. In the air, something he didn't want to smell. The smell of death. Not actually death itself, but someone ready to die. And be taken to the afterlife for processing. Nearby, he thought. It was coming from the audience. It terrified him. It was the wrong time. He couldn't take them now. He was on stage, in full view of over a hundred sets of eyes. To take them, he had to die himself. And he could not die, or at least be seen dying, or he would be deposed as emperor of the soul system. Then his cousin, the masked chicken, would be emperor, and he would be killed, and the empire will fall. He was scared. He felt his soul wanting to collect the dying person, trying to escape him. Blake, are you all right? asked Max in his head. Someone in the audience is dying, said Blake in Max's head. They were not human. They were not charlatans. They were sorcerers. Not merely stage illusionists. Hold on till the show's over, said Max. And Blake said, I'm trying to, but this is not like holding on to go to the loo. When water may come out of me, I die, said Blake, frustrated. In Max's head. Blake has to go to the loo, whispered Max, in the head of the stage manager, Dante Drac, who was a bit of a pen pusher. Blake tie nodded. Blake heard in his head, Dante was a sorcerer too. I'm dying out here, said Blake desperately in Dante's head. Tyan nodded. 
that tone shouted back in Blake's head. Someone in the audience is dying, Blake called out. In Dante's head. I know. They had a heart attack. Front of house, Tompy. I'm out front with them now, trying to save them, Dante said. In Blake's head. Save them? You're doing a lousy job, Blake snapped. Dante's head as he did a card trick. Stop bothering me, Blake. Screamed back Dante at La. Everyone in the theatre heard him. Blake was on the edge of death, about to drop dead. Blake collapsed, and Max ran to his side, screaming, Close the curtains. No, screamed Dante. A grim reaper walked into the room and took the dying breath in his soul. Blake's down out of the stage hand as he ran to Dante. Blake? asked Dante in his head. No, Lance. Why didn't you take them yourself? You're a grim reaper too, said the reaper. Blake's son. How is Blake? asked Dante. He fainted, said the stage man. Lance wandered off with the soul of the heart attack victim. Blake recovered, but never forgave Dante for not helping. 